Welcome back. Today's video is going to be an update for the Project 10 Uses Project Pan. This is one that a lot of people on YouTube are doing and also on Instagram, basically picking several items at a time, using them 10 times and rolling it out. It's kind of a shop my stash type of project, very low key, but a way to rotate through your makeup collection. The first person that I saw do this was Phoebe HB. And like I said, tons of people are doing this one. This is going to be one of the projects that I'm going to be continuing into the new year. I'm gonna start some new project pans but project 10 uses, and I'm also doing a project 100 uses, and then my using my eyeshadow palettes one, which is another usage project, I will be continuing those. I really like these type of projects and I really wanna get use on some things. I'm still gonna do the usual type of project pans as well, where I'm trying to hit pan and complete products also. I'll link last year's project pan playlist and I am going to be starting a project pan playlist for this year. And also I started a new pan that palette. So check those out if you have not seen those and let's get into it. In this project, I have a rotation of four items going at a time. And in this update, I did get to 10 uses on three out of the four items. The one that is going to be staying in this project is this lipstick. I've only used it twice. I know, kind of sad. This is by Prop Up Beauty. This is in the color Made It. It's a really pretty orangey brown shade. I actually really, really love it. But at the end of the year, I was so focused on finishing one more lipstick before the end of the year. I'll link my year-long empties video if you didn't see that. I did end up finally finishing a liquid lipstick that I wanted to get done. So I was so focused on that that yeah, I only use this twice, but this Prop of Beauty formula is beautiful. I have this color and one other color and it's really, really smooth, has a bit of shine. It's a great lipstick. So this will stay in the project and I will be continuing to use that. All right, the other three things I did get to 10 uses on and some I used even more than that. This one I've used a ton. This is an older product in my collection and it kind of sat neglected for a while and I'm so happy that I put it in this project. That's why I really love this project is because you kind of rediscover things you haven't used in a while and 10 uses is definitely kind of enough to see how you feel about it. So I think it's a great project. And so I used this contour shade. This is Shade Stir. This lighter color I pretty much never use, but you can almost see the rings in it. I've used this, I think I've used this 20 times since I put it in this project. I really love this shade for my skin tone as a contour. It's incredibly flattering um, because it's not too warm and it's definitely not cool toned. I would say it's more warm than anything, but pretty good neutral on me, so I really enjoyed this. I fell in love with this. Again, this is an older product. I've had this for many years, and I think I even got it at a CCO, so who knows how old it is, but it's working great, and I love that color, so that was an amazing rediscovery. The next product I also think I used more than 10 times, and that was this Wander Beauty Trip for Two. Now, I admit I only used the blush. I did not use this contour shade, and I mentioned this blush in my yearly favorites video. I love this color so much. This is Bellini. It is a gorgeous peachy pink, and the formula on this is spectacular. It's incredibly finely milled. It has a bit of a sheen. It's just incredibly flattering on the face. So I think I did use this blush more than 10 times. I didn't use the contour. I should do that at some point because the thing about this contour is it's incredibly subtle. I will say it does look darker on the skin than it does in the pan, but I don't know. I bet I have contour shades I like better, like this one, Shadester by MAC. I think it's better than this one, so maybe at some point I'll try to use that, but the blush is absolutely amazing. This is something I got in BoxyCharm and definitely one of my favorite things that I got in BoxyCharm when I had that. So yeah, this was amazing and I loved it. In each round of this project, I do like to have an eyeshadow palette. And for this round, I had the Natasha Denona Gold palette and I really did enjoy this one. I will say I used the matte shades more than the shimmers. I kind of wish I had used more of the shimmers. Um, but the mattes I got great use out of and they are beautiful. It's a really good formula. Um, yeah, I didn't end up using any of these three really intense shades. I kind of wish I had, so I don't know. I'll have to pull this out again in a little while, but the mattes are fantastic. I really love this mustard color there. I mean, the Natasha Denona matte formula is spectacular. I really do love it. And I did recently rank all of my Natasha Denona palettes. So I'm happy that I use this. Again, I wish I used more of the metallic shades, but yeah, the mattes in here are really, really good. Alrighty, so the Prop of Beauty lipstick, this is gonna stay in because I've only used it twice. So I need to use it eight more times before I roll that out. 
I'm gonna bring him some new products though. One is this blush by Hourglass. I got this at the Sephora VIB sale. This is a brilliant nude. I mean, it's a really neutral blush. Um, kind of like a brownish tan, a bit of orange. I don't know, it's really nice. I really do enjoy the Hourglass blush formula. And I think since I bought this at the VIB sale, I think I've only used it four or five times because again, at the end of the year, I was so focused on finishing that Wet n Wild blush. If you saw my year-long makeup empties, you'd know I did achieve that, which was very exciting, but I had to focus on that so much at the end of the year that I barely even used my other blushes. So I want to rotate through them again, although I will be still trying to complete another blush this year. You know, we'll see how that goes, but I want to use this one 10 times. The Hourglass blush formula is very, very nice. The next product I'm pretty excited about because this was in my winter makeup basket. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold Highlighter Palette. And in my winter makeup basket video, I said that this formula was not my favorite. Um, and a lot of you guys had some really great suggestions um, about maybe applying it with my finger and things like that. So thank you so much for your great ideas. What I ended up doing, I switched to a different highlighter brush and I love it now. I think that's the key to this is using a pretty dense brush because my issue before was I felt like not much was coming onto the brush and it just barely was showing up on the face. So I'm wearing this today. I'm wearing this yellow gold here. And the brush that I've been using um, is by Real Techniques, by the way. It's a very dense synthetic brush and it works great with this. So I'm really, really happy that I played around with this. I wanna get more use out of it. Yeah, because for a while this was something I definitely regretted getting, but then after using it more, switching up the brush, it was life-changing, honestly. So I'm really happy with this now. I love all three colors. I'm really excited to put it this in the project. And the last product I'll be putting in is an eyeshadow palette, and we're just gonna stick with the Natasha Denona theme, the bronze palette. This is my newest eyeshadow palette. I bought this on a Cyber Monday deal on Look Fantastic for 25% off, so I was pretty excited about it. This is one that when it came out, I kind of duped it in my collection. I did a video on that. I felt like I have so many warm tones and I really, really do. However, I was happy to get this on sale because the formula is spectacular. I was wearing this in my year-long makeup empties video. It's a beautiful palette. I don't know that the colors are that unique, but I will say the formula is top notch. So I wanna put this in the project, get some more use on it. It is beautiful. I'm really happy that I was able to get this at a discount because I do love the Natasha Denona formula, I will say. So this, very exciting, and I really wanna use this more. Alrighty, that is it for this video. I'm very excited to be rotating through my collection, and that's something that I'm really gonna be focused on this year. I wanna rotate through things, making sure I'm getting good use out of things, and if there's things that I really don't enjoy, I do wanna to try to declutter maybe a little more this year than I did in years past. That's one of my big goals for my low buys, to get to know my collection, rotate through it, and really get to enjoy my products. So. I'll link some other videos in the description box and the cards if you want to see that. Stay tuned for some new project pans. If you didn't see my new pan that palette, I will link that as well. That is it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.